Today we're going to talk about doing a digital download onto your computer so you can send it to a USB stick for your long arm quilting machine. My particular machine is not digitized, it does not have a computerized system, so the way that I use my machine is either from the back using a design board or from the back using a pantograph. You can also use, well, I use the machine from the front. I could mark the quilt with stencils. Um, we have tearaway stabilizer that you can apply directly onto the quilt. It's a single use product um, that could be used on a long arm or a domestic machine. Um, you can use rulers on the front of the machine and also free motion quilting. But we're going to be talking about doing a digital download it's a program that operates the computerized system so I'm going to reset the camera on the computer show you how to search for those files download them and then uh, copy it over to a USB stick so you can then take it to your long arm machine uh, computer system and upload it so that the machine will operate and stitch out the design for you so uh, I'm going to go ahead and reposition and uh, we'll get started on copying that digital file. Okay, when you get to the website at urbanelements.com, you can see across the top of the page here, we have things sectioned off in different uh, categories. So what we're going to do is go to Quilting Designs, and you can see that there's a monthly club, uh, edge to edge, blocks, corners, and sets. We're just going to go ahead and go to the full group. And the page will open up and there, all of our designs are listed alphabetically. And you can see uh, we have a wide variety of designs. I think we have currently over 6,000 different designs on our website. One of the nice things is that on the left hand side here you can split these up into, uh, you can filter them. So you could look for digital only uh, designs. You could uh, filter them by size, by block type, set type, and then here there's a huge selection of themes that you could go ahead and narrow your category down if you were looking for Christmas only or Valentine's Day. Um, again, you could also filter it by designer and you can see we have a large selection of designers on our staff. So um, if we go ahead and filter this by digital designs, this will go ahead and pull up only the designs that uh, can be purchased as a digital uh, design. It, it could also be purchased paper, but these are definitely have digital files for them. So the one that I chose was, um, oh goodness, I chose Acanthus. This design here. So what I would do is go ahead and click the Add to Cart. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and click on it so you can see what the page looks like. This is the full page for Acanthus. You can see the designer was Quilter's Apothecary. Um, and it, below it has uh, information on the size and all of the different file formats that are included for the digital uh, system. All of these are the digital designs. So this particular one at this current time is $15. So if we go ahead and, well, we don't want 10. We want one, add it to the cart. And then you can see up here in our cart that we have added one design. So we can proceed to checkout. Now, uh, one thing that we want to do here is um, we want to have an account because if we sign in at, with our account, what that's going to allow us to do is the website will record all of your purchases. So if you ever have a problem with your 
uh, computer or if you ever lose your files or you know any reason you can go over here to your account information go down to my downloadable products and you will see all of your digital files would be recorded here and if any time you needed to you could go back and re-download this file um, or if you upgraded your uh, system and you hadn't kept track of all the other digital uh, file formats you could re-download it here but it's really important um, for you to log in uh, with an account rather than as a guest if you log in as a guest this will not be recorded on our website and we don't have any way of retrieving that information for you so we go back to the cart proceed to checkout and um, we would uh, go ahead and proceed to checkout and it has all of my information there and that would be uh, the next step to going ahead and doing your billing information. Um, I've already purchased this file so I don't need to re-down uh, repurchase it now uh, but we'll go ahead and show you how, what it looks like when we get the email attachment. You will get two emails from Urban Elements after you purchase a design. The first email is going to be your receipt and the second email is going to be the uh, email that has the download attachment for your design. So if I click here on download, you're going to get uh, a box that asks you if you want to open it or save it. We do want to save this file. And you can see up here my computer is in the process of downloading this file. Some people will have a box down here where the downloads will show up. That's just dependent on what uh, operating system you have on your computer. But whichever it is, once the file is completed, we're going to go ahead and open that uh, zip file. And you can see um, mine has already been opened. Um, if you have to, you can extract to open the files. But this is what you're going to get on your computer uh, once you download this one design and what you have here you have a small picture file the PNG file there's a Microsoft Edge PDF document and that document would look something like this in fact I can open it for you uh, it, it would be helpful if you wanted if you had many designs you could print these pages off and store them in a uh, sleeve protector of a notebook and that would keep track of all of your designs for you. And certainly if you had customers that would be an easy way for them to leaf through the pages and um, see what designs you had. And you can see this is taking a minute to download. There it is. So you have the name of the design, uh, the design, who digitized it, um, the size of it and a couple different pictures one of the individual design and one of it uh, linked together uh, there are some other files below that SVG uh, text document these are basically for some of the older systems but below here you can see all of the different uh, file extensions that are used for uh, the actual quilting machine for instance, the Bernina Long Bernina Long Arm Quilting Machine is BQM. So, if I wanted to uh, get this ready to take to the machine, I would get a USB stick, and I'm going to go ahead and put this USB stick in the USB slot on the back of my computer, and then we're going to go ahead and transfer this uh, design over to my USB stick. This is what the uh, whole file would look like on your downloads for the Acanthus before it's been opened. Um, I've already opened mine, so we'll go ahead and just click on that. And we're back to all of the file formats. Um, if you can see here, I've installed my USB stick. 
it's in the F drive of my computer. Yours may be in a different location. But what I'm going to do is just highlight the BQM file and I'm going to uh, copy and then right click on the USB stick and I'm going to paste. Now what that's going to do is send a copy of this file to the uh, USB stick and then I could go ahead and eject that stick and upload it onto my machine if I had a computerized system. If I tried to open this file on my computer now, it will say that um, how do I want to open this because this file was not meant for your computer. It was meant for the computerized uh, quilting machine. So it's not going to open any of these files unless by chance I have a program that would open it and it may change the name of the file because of the uh, program that opened it but it will not change the actual file format so if that happens to you don't worry you can still upload it to the stick it just renamed it it didn't change it um, so we're going to go ahead and forget that um, if I click on my USB stick now you can see that the acanthus file is loaded in the USB stick I have my BQM Bernina quilting machine file on there so uh, now I can go ahead and close that down and down here in the bottom you'll see there's an icon for you to eject the um, flash drive so we'll go ahead and do that so that you safely remove the uh, USB stick from the system you don't want to just yank it out while it's still working. So now I have my design on my USB stick and it's ready to take to my, uh, well it would be ready to take to my long arm quilting system if I had one. You always want to uh, start with the system off when you insert the USB stick and then you can go ahead through your system and upload that file. Um, one thing I wanted to mention on the uh, website, we have, uh, let's find frequently asked questions uh, right here. How do I download my digital files? There's a, a little information here if you have any uh, confusion about that. How do you unzip your files? Um, I think also there's a, a place on there where they have file formats listed. Uh, let's find it here what digital format do I need for my computerized quilting system this has a list of the most common quilting machines and their system and the file formats that they accept for download so you can copy and paste this out uh, and print a copy of it um, that would let you know which one of these many file formats you need for your system um, and mine here is Qmatic, Bernina, BQM. Now that would only be if I had the Qmatic on there. If I had a different type of system like the IntelliQuilter on my Bernina, the file format would be one of these two. So that's just another uh, thing that you can keep, uh, be aware of that we do have that information on the website. Um, if you order something and you don't find it in your email you might want to check your spam folder or um, go back to the website because you may have inadvertently typed your email address in wrong which is another reason why it's really important to have um, an account so that you can re-download stuff if you need to 
So um, that's basically all the steps for downloading a digital file. Um, I hope that that information has been helpful to you. And um, we'll see you next time at Urban Elements.